Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I hadn't planned on starting the vlog right here, right now, but I'm currently in Paris and I just thought I'd have to just bring you guys along with myself and Erin through what we're experiencing right now because it is, it's quite funny. We've checked into this hotel in Paris um, and unfortunately we have a little, a little bit of an ant infestation in our room. We've just decided that we are going to head to a different hotel. Just ants in a room in general. It's a no, and I'm not trying to start this vlog off on a negative because I'm actually so excited for this vlog. I'll do a proper intro tomorrow, but it's currently just gone midnight. Our call time is really early tomorrow morning and um, we are about to go and check into another hotel. We've got to pack up this room now. But to be fair, the view out of this bedroom is immaculate. It's just the ants that aren't. I'll show you the view anyway, one second. I mean, the views are literally 11 out of 10. They are so breathtaking. I've not come to Paris for so, so long. So I'm so excited to show you guys what we got up to over the next couple of days. I will show you around the next hotel when we get there, hopefully in five minutes. Little bit snug for us. <laughs> and I know Erin hates being in my vlogs, but right but now she doesn't one. really have a choice. <laughs> oh God, I'm about to knock the pitch down. Also guys, <laughs> I picked up this Stop. new leather jacket whilst, whilst we're here, I might as well tell you. This beautiful new leather jacket from Zara, um, which I absolutely love. Kind of looks a bit like All Saints. To run them all. Escaping. Free Willy. <laughs> Erin's telling me that the hotel that we've just booked now um, is actually just around the corner. So we've got our cases. We actually do have my security guy Paul out here with us and if he knew what we were doing right now without him he would absolutely kill us oh my god guys oh, speak of the devil it's Paul oh my god that is actually hilarious okay so we thought we'd be okay because it was two seconds yeah we just got shouted at by Paul which I told you we would not happy no. tears for me <laughs> tears guys right I cannot believe the vlog is starting like this oh. but Oh my god. Oh, it's um it's 1 a.m. We've just come to the second hotel. Um and you're gonna think we're literally crazy, but we're leaving. I'm terrified. Um there's basically like a bar in our bedroom that everyone's in. I just I feel so delirious right now, but I've got five percent and we've got to find another hotel. This room hasn't been entered in since when like honestly, yeah, since before I was born. Not being divas, we're not being ridiculous. Like we we genuinely don't really care where we sleep, no. but Tell me that this <laughs> is not cursed. That's just homesickness in a, in a <laughs> <laughs> If homesickness could be described in an object, it would be this brush. And there's two of them on the desk. <laughs> you don't feel safe? you're in a garden thing with the gate. Right. It's all glass, windows don't shut, all that stuff. And okay. And okay. So yeah. off and we both scream. It is the conjure in here. It is. This is the bedroom upstairs. Um, I just don't, I, I know you guys are gonna think I'm making a fuss. The cauldron no, is cauldron. giving. I mean, I'm not even gonna lift the lid off that. Um, the back. In back. In yeah, when we find our, hopefully our third and final one. <laughs> I have never, ever, ever been so happy Oh my goodness, guys, right. <laughs> just logging it, just letting Fran know that we are safe. What an evening. I know you guys are gonna think I'm being dramatic, but um, oh, it was funny, it was funny. One of those things, I really, really, really didn't feel safe at the last hotel. For now, let's crack on with the actual Paris vlog, not all this, honestly, I don't even know what's been going on the last few hours. But um, anyway, I'll speak to you guys in the morning and good night for now. Good morning guys. So it's a new day in Paris. It's a Thursday. It's currently about 10 o'clock in the morning. We are ready to go and start shooting for the day. The weather is so beautiful. I think it's about 18, not 18 degrees at all. What is it? Sir? I think it is. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I think it's about 18 degrees outside. So um, I'm in kind of like autumn winter clothes. I'm not going to lie. The last time I came to Paris was for one night with Tommy when he had an event out here and it was just so nice and romantic and I loved it so much. But I need to get outside now because everyone's waiting for us. And I'm going to bring you along with us today and tomorrow and show you what we got up to in Paris. I'm literally so excited. And after last night's antics, I'm excited just for a chilled day shooting because honestly, last night... I can't even get over. I feel like it was a dream. Right, we're hitting the streets of Paris. It is so beautiful today. 
Maybe this is my second croissant of the day. I know you guys aren't judging me. If you can't eat croissants in Paris, where can you eat croissants for breakfast? Maybe two, three, four croissants. We just went to this cafe that is number one rated by Vogue as the best cafe to go to in Paris. It was it was beautiful to be fair, but just um, I had a cappuccino because apparently she's a she's a coffee drinker now. Um, but we're just um, finding another little location to shoot this straight hair. Um, super blonde at the minute, my hair. Really enjoying it. Do you think the croissant was better this morning, Holly, or this one? This morning. Oh, nice. to be fair, this morning was only Starbucks croissant. No, it wasn't. Oh, <laughs> my apologies. I thought you got it when you got the coffees. No, okay. No, 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 no. Oh, only the best. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh my god, look at that cafe. That's so beautiful. Oh my god, guys, I feel like I'm in a flipping movie right now. It is absolutely beautiful. You know, on Mr. Bean's holiday when they're making that yogurt advert before. Um, he yeah, accidentally sets that explosion off. This is what this is reminding me of right now. If you know what I'm talking about, then you'll know. So guys, we've just come back to the room now <clears throat> to do a little hair change, a little outfit change. Um, super sunny, as you can see. Blinded by the lights. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go from straight locks to curly locks. Curly smokes, look at those kicks on him. <laughs> Where are your trainees from, mate? <laughs> I like them a lot. Right, guys, we've just popped the hair into a little half up, half down. We're gonna do a little bow in the back of it, a little hair accessory. Make it very Parisian, um, and then we're gonna head for some lunch. Just popped um, a different outfit on, just nice and plain, just so that the hair is the main focus. This one looks like from the back, if you guys can see. Really cute. So we are now at the Louvre. Is that how you say it? The Louvre? Yeah, the Louvre. The Louvre. Oh, the Louvre, not the Louvre. I thought it was the Louvre. <laughs> Good job, I checked. Um, so we're now at the Louvre. This is it here, as you can see. Cute thumbnail. I'm actually going to do a little bit of research into the Louvre and understand why like there's so many old buildings in this beautiful square and then obviously we have the huge glass pyramid which is the Louvre but I, don't, I just I want to understand why I want to understand why and like who like put that there who put the big glass pyramid there because I've never actually come to the Louvre the Louvre before I keep calling it the Louvre but we've just shot this half up half down hair I'm not gonna lie what? what? I also want to get changed out of this outfit um, because I'm not going to lie. I'm not really sure this outfit is my style. I keep saying to the girls I feel like I should be in a museum in this outfit. It's velvet, navy velvet. So yeah, I'm going to get changed now. Um, we're going to have some lunch. You can see there it's called Le Café Marley. Oh wow. <laughs> Thank you very much. Me and Liz have got the same truffle. So that's it now. That looks unbelievable. Yes, uh... Quickest turnaround of my entire life. So I'm now into evening glam. As you can see, we've got these big Hollywood curls, which, which Carl just did super, super quick at literally the speed of light. Look at the size of my hair, it is so big. I'm obsessed. We're heading towards the Eiffel Tower to hopefully get some content of me in front of it being all sparkly and very cute and romantic. Yeah, hopefully I'll get some really great content for beauty work. Georgie packed this three-piece curl. I have no idea where it's from, but I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask. So when I find out, I'll try and leave it below or I'll pop it on the screen for you guys. But this outfit is so super cute. So different to what I normally wear. You guys know I'm so not a glamour purse. I'm not really into my glam outfits. I'd much rather be in a tracksuit right now. But when we have to be glam, it's nice when we do it in an outfit that we do like, and I do really like this. Je t'aime Paris. <laughs> wow! Yeah, a little bit scared because we've got to stand in the middle of the road. <laughs> Peace out! Right. Down that white line! So, yeah, so you'll have to walk. Oh, no.
So guys, I hope you can hear me okay. We are now at our dinner place. It's called Kong. We booked our table for nine. It's half past ten. And we've only just sat down. Love that for us. But yeah, we've had a super long day. We managed to get some really cute content in front of the Eiffel Tower. This is the restaurant here. It is kind of like a rooftop restaurant. It reminds me of like a building in London. I don't know if it's the walkie talkie where they have like a rooftop bar. Um, but yeah, it's super beautiful. The food's like, I think it's Asian food. But it's not mine to try. It's nice. Oh, that thing, it was lovely. What do you think? Sure, of this action. Yeah. Right, guys, I'm going to try this chocolate cake. I don't think I'm going to like it because it looks like it's dark chocolate, but I'll give it a good scanner. I'm breaking it. In. Oh. Okay, guys, nothing. Good morning everybody. I feel so bad. I didn't close off the vlog last night. It got so late. Um, I think we ended up going to bed again around 2am, which is very naughty, um, but dinner was so nice. It's such a beautiful day here in Paris. The sun is shining. The vibes are immaculate as well i keep going past so many art galleries and i keep wanting to go into all of them because in the new house the current owner has so much art up in the house and obviously when they leave they're going to take it all and i need to somehow replace it and artwork is something that i am so not knowledgeable on like i have literally no idea and when i google like how much certain pieces of art are they are literally extortionate so i'm wondering if maybe i'll just get prints for the new house and frame them nicely and just pretend they're like original pieces carl do you want to talk through the hair for today what have so we gone for we've gone for a very loose effortless just a thir yeah 38 millimeter tong wow just oh to curl kit volume two, volume two. <laughs> Honey. just to create that real sort of blow dry glam but still daytime you know wow <laughs> thanks carl <laughs> so yeah, we've used Curl Kit Volume 2 to um, style this hair. It's like super blown out. Parisian chic, you know, took about two hours, but we're going to pretend it took two minutes. Fourth croissant of the trip, and it's really good. I think the one yesterday was better. Oh god, that's good. Best hot chocolate I've ever had. Where are we? Correct, Paris. Get yourselves down here for a hot chocolate. Not an ad. We've come to this really beautiful little side street and it would appear a lot of people have had the very same idea that we have. <laughs> I actually saw this street on Pinterest yesterday and I was thinking I might mention to Beauty Works that I want to come here and then the taxi just pulled up here and I was like oh great what a coinky dink I actually wanted to come here so yeah we're gonna try and get some content here but it is a little bit busy um so trying to get pictures without people in the background to be fair it's dispersing a little bit yeah, it is. stunning views <laughs> it's a school trip go past first. Has Ellie Belly done any little school trips yet? Um, no, he's not allowed. <laughs> he's Sorry, too, he's like too naughty. <laughs> Wait, too cool for school, Mom. Too cool for school. Did he not come out today? Uh, no, he was a bit happy. Yeah. Yeah. All of these series that I've never watched. Like Top never Boy, Bridgerton. I've never seen I any of this. Um, and we've just got some Mackies for lunch. We're here in Paris and we've got Mackies. Um, but we just wanted to get something quick. It's, everyone's just been talking about the new Bridgerton coming out and also everyone's just been talking about Top Boy the whole time we've been here. I feel so left out because I've not watched Top Boy and I've not watched Bridgerton. I'm just not good with series, guys. Wow, is it? Oh my God, what did you get? Did you want the nuggets? Oh gosh, let me show you that. Wow. Wow, what, what flavour is it? Nice. Wow, look at that. Sandwich feed. That looks incredible. Wow, that's Lizzie's. Don't oh drop God. it. Is that mine? Thank so you. Oh. Ready, guys? Oh, God. Right. Guys, this is absolutely sure. unbelievable. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. That chicken burger, 10 out of 10. Unbelievable. I'm no good at being good, but I never Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Cheers, Lizzie. Cheers. <laughs> what did you get? Raspberry. Framboise. Framboise for you. Framboise for I got phrase for me. I love the accent. <laughs> It's really quality, really great French there. Phrase of Ramboise. Raspberry or strawberry? Yeah, you got raspberry. Oh, what? Everyone's saying I should have got raspberry, but I got phrase. I got strawberry. Phrase. Otherwise, no voice Holy moly, I should have got that. Yeah, Ramboise is the one. Oh my god, guys, the Ramboise is. Where it's at. Oh my god, your tongue! Night tongue! Let me see yours. It's mine. Yeah, yours is red. Oh! The noise is coming out of me. Show your tongue. I know you don't have me on camera, but it's just funny. <laughs> <laughs> the shoot is wrapped. We've finished. Yeah! Oh my god. We got so much, no, we got so much done um, in the last two days, well, basically one day. Um, I'm so proud of us. We did amazing team really pulled together um but now we're gonna go do some shopping so i'll bring you guys along and show you what we get if we get anything at all i need to get a friend a birthday present so I need to look for that i wish i'd put a like a vest top in my bag or something because i am sweating um but i might nip into zara and grab a top or something just to because it's so hot okay guys we're in sephora i just had to run into zara and grab myself a plain black t-shirt. I'm not wearing a bra. Why is my boob look that triangular? I'm gonna throw up everywhere. I could do with getting a new lip liner and maybe some new skincare or something. So let's see what they've got. Or maybe a new perfume as well, actually. Did I just pay 15 euros for three waters? Yes, I did. These, I bought three of these bottles of water and they were 15 euros. So a little bit sad. Now walking to try and find Chanel so I can find something for Fran's birthday because I haven't got her anything yet. Let's not tell her that. Uh, but her birthday's next week. I think about getting, I'm thinking about getting her a little purse or she wants these sandals for holiday. So hopefully we'll be able to find Chanel because I don't think it's with the rest of the shops. I love so Erin and I have hit such a wall. Here's me and my Olive. Um, we are both so exhausted. It's not even true. We've left Holly to carry on doing a little bit more shopping because we literally couldn't keep up with her anymore. Like, to be fair, I think Erin could have probably kept up with her, but I was like, I was just flagging. I was like, I cannot even, my legs were like not holding me up anymore. I felt like I was falling asleep whilst I was walking. It's just ridiculous. Um, so we've come back to our hotel now. I think I told you guys we're staying at the Bulgari Hotel. Uh, well, we're not really anymore. We've checked out of our room and stuff, but we've just come back here to grab some food before our flight in a few hours. Comment down below if you like olives because it's taken me about Mm. I'd say a good amount of time to force myself to like olives and do you know why? Because you know when you were a kid and you'd go for to a restaurant and they'd always bring out like olives and nuts and you'd be so hungry and you'd want your food so badly that like you'd really want to eat the olives and the nuts but you don't like them so then you force yourself and like every time I'd go to the restaurant I'd nibble a bit more of an olive, nibble a little bit more and in the end you force yourself to like them. Anyone else done that? I am going to talk through what I bought at Sephora because I got some really great bits but Lizzie's got my bag at the moment so I'm going to wait until I get the bag. It's also Mother's Day on Sunday so I bought my mum a perfume as well. I've got her little Chanel Coco Mademoiselle not really, I'd, I'm not in love with the smell personally, but I think she'll love it. Um, but I hope she'll like that as a little Mother's Day present. But yeah, we've just ordered a spaghetti and a club sandwich, which Owen and I are going to split and share. Uh, yeah, that's the update really. made it back home and I basically look exactly the same as I did in Paris same glasses same jacket same top that I bought in Zara yesterday because I was sweltering I cannot get over how beautiful the weather was in Paris like we just had the best two days ever I feel so grateful this morning waking up like looking back on the last couple of days and just thinking honestly we had the best time like we just had the best laugh so thank you to Beauty Works for taking me away and shooting with me in Paris. It was just the best. Before I bring this vlog to a close, I did say I wanted to show you what I got in Sephora because I did pick up a couple of bits. So I will quickly 
Oh, sweating. I'm about to leave um, to drive down south for Mother's Day. So a little four hour drive coming up. But weirdly, I'm kind of looking forward to it. Some nice, quiet time by myself with my own thoughts. Like I literally, you guys know I've said it so many times, but I just love being by myself. I've just seen the biggest wasp on the living room window. And I think that's on the inside. So that's nice. There's nothing better for me than like being in the car with my music, little Starbucks, like just driving. Having a great time. So yeah, I'm quite looking forward to the drive. Fingers crossed it all goes okay and um, we have no dramas on the way down. But yeah, for anyone that wants to carry on watching the video and see what I picked up from Sephora, keep watching. I didn't get loads and loads, but I did pick up a fair few bits. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna get like a couple of bits, just stock up. But obviously I went in there with my makeup artist, Holly. Bad move, bad move. Like that was silly because she was like, right, you need that, you need that, you need that. And she was like, that's that thing that you wanted to get that time. That's that thing you told me that you like that. And I was like, right, okay, like just shoving everything in my basket. One of the first things I picked up was this Fenty Skin. This is the Fat Water Pore Re Refining Toner Serum. I actually had this product. I think they gifted it to me a little while back. And I think I actually put some on, my, on a cotton pad and I was like, oh, I don't know about this consistency. Like I didn't really understand it. But then I saw M -M -M Mitchell, my friend Mitchell, posting on his story saying how incredible it was and how much it transformed his skin and how his skin just looked incredible after it. So I thought, right, I'm gonna re-pick that back up because I don't know where my last one went. Also from Fenty, I picked up one of their Pro Filter Foundations. I actually did an ad with Fenty. Um, about probably about six months ago now. I spoke about this foundation, but they've changed the packaging now. When I first used it, and especially in that ad, it was in like a squeezy tube. So I was looking around the counter and I was like, where's that foundation, where's that foundation? But it's this one, they've just changed the packaging. Packaging is gorgeous, by the way. Another foundation I picked up is the new one from NARS. I've been wanting to try for ages. This is the light reflecting foundation. I've been wanting to get my hands on this foundation for so long. I'm not gonna lie, they didn't have the exact shade that I wanted. This is potentially gonna be a little bit dark for me. It might be fine once I've got a tan, but um, as, I, as my tan fades, this is probably gonna be too dark, so I'll probably have to mix it in. Nars to me have always just had their two like stable foundations, so for them to bring out a new one, I was desperate to try it because I've always loved the Nars foundation. Another thing I'm so excited about that I picked up is I picked up a liquid blush from Rare Beauty. Now, Rare Beauty is Selena Gomez's, Selena Gomez's new, um, new beauty brand and I had no idea about it I didn't even know she bought her, out her own beauty brand I think when I was on TikTok I do think maybe potentially I saw some stuff about it but Holly was actually saying that she um thinks it's really really good and she said that she just bought this liquid blush to try so I should do the same I got it in shade happy and it actually looks really beautiful it actually looks very very pink but when Holly blended it out on her hand in Sephora it kind of blended out nicely. I then also picked up a Coco Mademoiselle Chanel perfume for my mum for Mother's Day. Um, I've also got her the most insane bouquet of flowers which are outside the front door currently. I'm about to pack up my car, get everything in and drive down like I said. So yeah, I'm going to wrap this up and give this to her for Mother's Day. I think Zoe's also got her a couple of bits as well. I picked up a Charlotte Tilbury mini pressed powder. Holly again swears by this. Look how beautiful it looks. I love the Charlotte Tilbury packaging, so gorgeous. Oh, I should have done this with the rest of the Fenty stuff. I didn't realize I also bought this. I got the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer. This is another thing that I also used when I did a little ad for them and I absolutely fell in love with it. I do think Fenty Beauty's got to be one of my favorite makeup brands. I had to get a bit of a lighter shade because the one that I have um, upstairs at the moment is a little bit too dark. It doesn't really brighten and the consistency is so creamy, so blendable. I really, really love this. A little bit of skincare. I picked up the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. I have had face washes and eye creams from Ole Henriksen, but I've never bought the serum. Oh, I didn't expect it to look like this. This is really beautiful. All the other stuff I've had from them um, has been like squeezy tubes, but this is like acrylic. This is really, really beautiful. Let's just pop a little bit now on actually because I've got nothing on my skin today. It says it's banana. But to me, that smells more like orange. Got like a sort of citrusy smell to it. Oh yeah, that feels nice. Picked up a body moisturizer. This is one of my favorites. It is by, what's it called? Um, Sol, de, Sol de Janeiro, Janeiro, Janeiro. And then I also picked myself up a fresh beauty blender. I love picking myself up a, up a fresh one, even though they are quite expensive. I do think they're like 20 quid or something for a literal sponge, which is pathetic. I did also go into um, a few shops that we went into, Louis Vuitton, we went into Chanel, but I just, I don't know, I've most definitely fallen out of love with buying designer items these days. For like the last definitely six months, I've, I've literally not bought myself anything like that. It just doesn't really, I don't know, I don't really get excited by it anymore. I was having this conversation with um, the girls out there that I was with. One of them actually said out of the blue, she was like, it's probably because you're happy. And I was like, what do you mean by that? She was like, it's, you know, you're not looking for your happiness anywhere else. You're not trying to buy yourself designer things or buy yourself like bags or shoes or loads of clothes to like fulfill an empty like bit of happiness that you're looking for. And I was like, oh my God, why? Like, 
why are you trying to make me cry? Like, why, why are you trying to make me cry? And I sort of sat there and thought, maybe that is what it is. Like, at the moment, I do feel really happy. I went for a really weird patch a few months ago, which I told you guys about. I did that video where I was like, an open, an honest chat. But the last few months, I have felt so much better. I felt like my old self. I don't know. I just feel like I've definitely lost my love for buying unnecessary things like you know splurging spending i think as well obviously as well what happened with the burglary like as i said in another video like it does take that specialness away from it and when you go to buy yourself something you think is this going to compromise my safety and if it is like why on earth am i going to buy it like be safe or have a nice handbag it doesn't really it's not really a question um but yeah that was just a nice little thing that someone said to me and i thought you know what you're actually right i'm gonna bring this vlog to a close i really really hope you enjoyed it thank you again to beauty works for taking me away and shooting with me i had just the best time we laughed so much um it was a really really good one but yeah if you made it to the end of this video then i love you millions and hopefully i will see you in my next videos all the house vlogs ah, i'm so excited we get the keys in literally a few days guys Oh, I can't believe it. I'm so excited. Anyway, I love you millions and hopefully I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.